Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build another large yacht. This one I have named the Amelia. So um, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Instead of doing the video and then talking over it, I'm actually going to be showing you guys at close, or at least walking around uh, at close, so that you guys get an extra look before starting the tutorial. But this one is 69 blocks long in total, 15 blocks wide, and 23 blocks Hi, so it's a pretty big one. Um, it's also got a little bit bigger uh, interior space, so you guys can actually do quite a good interior. Big rear de deck as well as one that's kind of like a floating deck underneath, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and obviously top decks, so it's, it's pretty complicated. <laughs> it is going to be a little bit of a long tutorial, but it's different, of course, from the marionette, which is the one that we did last time, which is right next to it in my marina. So this one will obviously work in default. You don't need to really do any switch outs at all. I'm not using any extra blocks. It's just all the same. And I'll try and make sure that I'd say the block name that I'm using. But if not, it's the color. Um, this one's mainly like grays and whites. Use grays and whites. You know, it's as simple as that. But you can obviously switch it out for any of them. So yeah, pretty easy. Um, I'm actually using LD Modern for this tutorial, which is my own texture pack. And yes, there's a link in the description. Um, I'm also using Conquest of the Sun shaders because it seems to be working quite nicely for yacht tutorials. It's not too glaringly white, even though no matter what, everything in Minecraft is ridiculously white when used white. Um, so anyway, there's not too much I can actually do about uh, that bit. So if you guys do use this build on, you know, a map or a server, please do give me credit for my design. Uh, you can actually do this by putting it at the front. You know, you could name it, and you could just put like what I'm doing now. You know, um, designed by Lord Dacker, and then put up another one right next to it, saying, you know, built by Ted because on or Tess Ted. So, you know, you can do that really, really nice and easy. That's the easiest way to credit me. What that does is if it gets seen on a server and people go, oh, that's a cool design, I might actually check out that channel. They check out my channel, I get more views, I get more subscribers, I make more stuff. So, obviously, all the ones that are in this marina, I've got to work my way through. So, um, yeah, that really helps me out. And if you guys help me out, then I'll help you guys out by giving you these really, really cool tutorials to follow. Now, this is an advanced tutorial, as I kind of said earlier. It is going to take a bit of time, and I'm going to be doing it in a layer-by-layer -layer, uh, tutorial fashion. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get started on this awesome tutorial. Okay, so here we are on my flat world. So the reason I'm doing it on a flat world is just so much easier to show you guys. Um, it, it's just easier to show you guys, to be honest. That's basically it. Uh, but obviously, if you guys are actually going to be uh, you know, making us one in the water, I'll show you guys where we're actually going to be doing it. So if your water level would be here. It's going to be on the light grey, the whole light grey level. So if you put a bot right next to it, and just go down another one, down another one, down another one, so you got, oh, down another one, so you got four blocks. So you got one, two, three, and four, like that. And then you can just delete those. That will be your starting block. Make sure it's a light grey wall block. Um, should have really said that at the beginning. But if you go down that much, that will, that'll be it. Uh, so we're going to be doing this in a layer by layer, you know, fashion. As so you can see, we've got this one here. So there'll be the layer in the top left hand corner. Um, also, I will be building this one only on half of it, so I'll be showing you guys how to build, you know, like this side. If we did like this, I'll set up four, and then two, and then up one, and I'll say pause the video, and then you guys will actually pause the video, and you build it on the other side. And, you know, you'll actually do that bit, and you can just watch that same section. It just makes the video length half as long, literally, it really does. So anyway, for layer number one, grab your light grey wool, or some sort of light grey block, any, any sort of light grey block will do. And we're going to have a 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to have a 38. So I'm going to use my uh, world edit just to speed this up a little bit. So I've got world edit CUI, which allows me to um, 
basically count blocks a lot easier. So there we go, 34, 35, there we go, 34 blocks in total. Uh, not 34, 38, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 38 blocks. Definitely 38 blocks. So make sure you get back to there. Obviously pause if you need to. Then we're going to just have two blocks in the end. And that's pretty much it. So you, what you guys will do is you'll pause. You'll do the same on the other side. So you'll actually press pause. And then you'll go, okay, well, he did a 38. So let's do this. At least with this one, it's so small that I can actually show you guys. Like that. So then you go, okay, then we need to fill this in as well. And you need to fill this bit in, just the, just the bottom layer. Obviously, because you don't want water just, you know, coming up through the floor. So anyway, guys, that's it for layer number one. Okay, and now for layer number two, what are you going to do? Come to the front. We're going to go forwards by seven blocks. So from, like, counting this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to leave two of these ones. And you, let's have a look, actually. I'm almost stuck there. Uh, yep, leave two of those ones. Then you have a two. Then another two. One, two, like that. And then we have a three. One, two, three. And then a 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42. It's 42 in total. Yeah. Ah, God. Too long, these blocks. So you have 42 blocks. Yeah. That's what you'll need. Then, if we go around to the back, what we're going to do is, across the ship, we're actually going to have a two. So we go across here, so a starting block, and add an extra block there. And do the same again with three blocks. So you go one, two, three. So it's quite a rounded uh, back bit for this one. You go get one, two, and then obviously you guys will do the same on the other side. So, you know, do all on that bit. Now, there's a lot of this big gap on this one. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to fill it up. You're just going to grab from here, fill up all these blocks on this layer, like that. So, do that on the other side, uh, and actually, no, before we do that, we'll get onto the rudder, almost forgot. Oh, not the rudders, the uh, propellers and rudders. Uh, grab a block of iron or something similar. I just use iron and gold for these ones, it's very, very Jag Thunder-esque. Um, and then what we're going to do from here, on the side of this free one, we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to have two blocks of gold. Then we're going to go out on each of these ones, and this is a Jag Thunder design for the propeller, like that. And then from this one, we're going to leave a one block gap, and we're going to have a two. So you go from here, one, two, and just put a one down like that for the rudder. And obviously do that on the other side as well. Uh, so fill in that, do it on the other side, and we will get on to layer number three. Okay, and now for layer number three, what you're going to do is you're going to place one block directly on top of the last one, then go forwards by one as well. Actually, no, you're not going to do that. Sorry, guys. Ignore me. Um, from here, we're actually going to go forwards two blocks. Yeah, forwards two blocks. We're not doing the on tops yet. So you've got two blocks forwards of that one there. But we're only going to show one of them. So we're going to put a block directly on the side of this one. And that's going to be a two. So you get this kind of like squiggle. But it would just be like that starting point. You go one, two. So that's you go one, two. We're then going to have another one. Then a two, one, two. Then a three, one, two, three. Then a four, one, two, three, and four. Then a 44. So again, I'm just going to use this thing. I'm going to see where it actually lands rather than... Uh, count it all out properly. So it might be easier for you guys to do that that way. So if we go to in line with this one, it's 40 blocks. So we just go 1, 2, 3, 4. That will give you 44 blocks in total. So again, bring it in line with this block here. And go 1, 2, 3, 4 additional um, to that. We're then going to have a 1. And then a 9 going across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And obviously, you guys will do that on the other side as well. You know, drag that one back. We've, again, got a lot of blocks to fill up. So, you know, you can do this, guys. Work your way around these bits. And you can even cover these up. I usually just cover them up for the engine bits. But, yeah, fill up all of that. And uh, then we'll get on to layer number four. Oh, actually, before we get on to layer number four, <laughs> just remembered before I press stop record, um, right on the back rudder, add an extra two blocks. Like that. Now, yeah, do the same on the other side, fill in those bits, and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, and now for layer number four. So just before we begin, you probably noticed the wall color has changed, or the wall has changed. Uh, it's because I had a texture pack update in between recording this. So, um, yeah, 
Lots of new blocks and stuff, so I think it looks better. Anyway, if you guys just grab your light grey block and just place one block on top of the on, on top of the last one and just go forwards by one like that. We're then gonna go one, two, two, three, and two. So three sets of two, so you go two, one, two, 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 like that. Then a three, one, two, and three. Then a fifty three. So I'm gonna do the same as I've been doing. I just use, um, basically using world edit and world edit CUI just to save us a bit of time. Uh, let's go right to the back here. Like that. And that's 46, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. So you just add an extra 7 on, onto it. So there you go, you get that one uh, right to there, which is directly on top. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 extended onto that, which gives you uh, 53 blocks in total. Then just across the black back, we're going to have 11. So you go 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and obviously you guys will do that on the other side as well. Uh, we've got a massive area at the back here to actually fill in, so obviously just fill it in. But it'll just cover up all the rudders and stuff like that. So yep, just get onto that, and uh, yeah, we'll get onto the next layer. So do that on the other side. Okay, and now for layer number five. So grab your grey wool. So you can see here I've got light grey, then I've got normal grey. So just go on onto the normal grey bit, bit like this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just have one on top, just on top of the last one. And then we're going to have a one. Then we're going to have three sets of two. So you go, as you know, we have, no, that's right, yeah, three sets of two. So I'm getting confused. One, two, and three. So they go one, one, two, 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 like that. Then we're going to have a three, one, two, three. Then an eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to have a 36. So we're going to have to count this one just to... Uh, how it is. So there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 36 blocks in total. Then we're going to have 10. So we're just going to go in by 1. Um, I'm pretty sure that's right anyway. Yeah, it looks right. Yeah, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we're just going to have 11 going across the back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. So do the same on the other side and we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, and now for layer number 6, what you guys are going to do, come to the front and just go forwards by one block like that. We're then going to have a 1. And then we're going to have 4 sets of 2. So you go 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. So 4 sets of 2. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to have a 5. 1, Two, three, four, five, and now we're going to have a 50. So what I'll do is I'm going to use the tool and just see where we go. Okay, I'll go over the top of this one like this. We just bring it directly on top of the last one there. That'll give us 41. So add nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's one short of the last bit right here like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a one and then an 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> That's just me like miscounting or whatever. Anyway, just do the same on the other side and we'll get on to the ne next bit. Okay, and now for layer number seven. So come to the front and we're just going to go forwards by one block. It's going to be a one there. Then we're going to have a two, one, two. But then what we're going to do is we're going to have a one. Then we're going to have two sets of two. One, two, one, oh, one, two, like that. So two sets of two, like that. Then a three, one, two, three. Then we're going to have a four, one, two, three, and four. Then a 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, like that. Then if you switch over to your quartz blocks, because we, we start to get this uh, kind of white bit in here, just onto this back deck piece, I'm just going to do a total of seven of those. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then switch over to your quartz slab. And we're going to have six of these on the upper part. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have a block of quartz. Then we're going to have three slabs, one, two, and three, like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have one quartz slab in here. And then we're going to have two going across here. So one, two. So you can see it's kind of like following this top bit. It's just uh, where you get it. So you go one, two, three, one, one, two. And that's where you're going to have your block. So you're going to go one, two, blocks there. You can just join these across with your quartz slabs like that. So obviously, you guys, you will do it on the other side. And, you know, we'll do all that bit. Uh, what we're actually going to do, I'm just going to quickly do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So just make sure you get that there. Or you can just count it from here, obviously. You could do your six slabs. So one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do, if you grab some birch wood and birch wood planks and also birch wood slabs, okay, what we're going to do, and it's right here where we get to the grey piece piece here, we're going to have two slabs here on that bit and two slabs there on the other bit, on the upper bit even, the other bit. There we go, if I just drag that a little bit. So we get there and there like that. Now we're going to grab our blocks of, block of quartz and we can do it from this side for example. Right next to that slab we're going to go one, two, three, four. So that's going towards the back piece. Then a one and then I'll go straight across. Basically, so it'll match up here. So one, two, three, four. Do your one and then just join it up like that. So you get this kind of like shape like that. That's just the back of the actual ship. And that means what we can do is we can grab our birch wood planks and we can actually just fill in this deck. So this will be all around here. Uh, this is just to make sure that you've got the most amount of headroom. So if you wanted to do something special underneath here, um, you know where the deck is for this piece and then you can actually play around with this bit and make a big room or, or something without just, you know, filling up this entire level. I mean, you could do if you wanted to. Uh, completely up to you. But it just gives you an extra room to play with when you do your interior design. So I think it's always much better. So there we go. So basically you just, you know, fill up this entire bit all the way to the back. Um, and then we'll get on to uh, the next layer. So... Yeah, and also obviously do this bit here. Okay, and now for layer number eight. So grab your grey wall again. And what we're going to do is going to place one block directly on top and just go forwards by one block as well. So we get that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a one and then a two. One, two. Then we're going to have a one and then we're going to have a two. One, two. So we go two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Then we're going to have a three. One, two, three. Then a four. One, two. Two, three, and four. So we're going to get stuck there. One, two, three, four, just like that. And then a 28. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, like that. And then we're going to have 13 blocks of quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, just like that. So it's one block short of the last one much easier to remember. Um, now what we're going to do is we're just going to build up this wall again. So we're just going to build up one more of this wall. Just like that. And I think we actually need to extend this as well. Mm, actually, no we don't. No, we don't need to extend it. Actually, if we don't build up all of it. Sorry, guys. I'm completely distracted. If we just build it up to there, and it'll kind of make sense in a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have on this side two slabs here. And then we're going to have two blocks there as well. So if I do the same on this side, so there... It's about two there, isn't it? There you go. So one, two there, and then one, two there, like that. And obviously that will go off. Now what we're going to do is we've basically got the, the back section. If we just join these two together, like that, like that, this is going to be the deck. That deck will go all the way forwards. So bring all of this deck, just like normally, forwards. This is the main deck here. So this is the deck that we're on right now. So... You know, there's no point not to bring it forwards. But it is a little bit different because this back section here, as you can see, there's a walk around here. But it actually gets raised up at the back. So this is the bit that we're going to be just stenciling out this, this section here. Um, then we can get onto like the super structure type bits, but we'll probably finish it off in, uh, in sections. But first, right, so pull this forwards right to this block here, actually all the way over to right to this one. Similar side. Okay, just like that. We're now just going to go across a couple blocks. And right in the middle, if we find the middle, there we go, find the middle block, just go in by one block, and we're just going to have a three going across there. So here we've got one, two, three, four, then we've got one, two, three. Don't worry if you mess this up, but there you go, that's what you should have. If I just pause it there, there we go, you, you guys can then just press the pause button if you need to. Uh, we've got three blocks in the middle with a one block gap, and then you've got the four there, and, and then this obviously will be all filled up. Um, solidly. So if you just fill all of that up as well, and we have to do all of that bit, and then drag the all to the front as well, so we get the entire deck going across, then we can get on to the next bit. Okay, and now for layer number nine. So grab your quartz slabs. We're just going to have these on the lower part. We're going to go one, two, like that. So directly on top of the last one. We're then going to have a one, two, one, two, then one, one, and then we're going to have an one on the upper slab that's joined onto it, so we go to there. It's a bit weird, I know. So you've got the two down, one, two, one, one, and then this one goes up. Okay? Bit weird, I know, but yeah. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a two. So you go one, two. And then we're going to have a block like that. So that's where we get our block. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have four slabs on the next next run directly on top of this one. So you go one. Oh, not there. Not there either. One, two, three, four. So it's directly on top of the top top of this piece here. To three, four like that. And then we're going to do is we're going to have one block right here. Now what we're going to do on the back of this is we're going to have seven slabs. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to have another block. Something like that. Then another seven slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to do this time is we're going to have seven blocks. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with your blocks. Then we're going to have two slabs. One, two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have 15 blocks. So 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, which is one short. So you can see this kind of like pattern going up like that. But then going to move inwards, and we're going to have 12. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So it's just tucked in. Just one like that. And then across the back, we're going to have 11. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. I'll get there in the end. So you can see that it's literally just on the inside for this bit. Um, so you just get your head kind of like hit there. Um, pretty cool though. So obviously you guys will do that on the other side. If we just do the quick back bit anyway. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then obviously this bit will be going. Or oh, not like that even. That's not right. What am I done? Uh, 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 uh. It's because on this side I've missed out some blocks, isn't it? There we go. So this is because I've I've skipped from the other side. There we go. If we do that, now that makes sense. <laughs> Ignore me. Right, okay, so that's what we get. And what we're going to do now, where we went around these bits, we're just going to have slabs. So you go one, two, three. Then what we're going to do is going to go one, two, three, four. And then I think this one goes over. So we can walk underneath that. Yeah, we do. You can go on, over on that bit. So we get our three slabs there. And then we get these bits, one, two, three, four, five, across on the side. So if we do this on the other side, one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Now what we're going to do is on the back of this three, we're just going to add an extra three slabs, one, two, three. Okay, like that. And then what we're going to do right here, we're going to cover up these two. So go one, two, like that. And then we go one, two, like that. And that gives us that kind of shape. It's a bit difficult to explain this one. Uh, but then what we're going to do here, and, and just double check. So when you've got this one layer of slabs going across here, we go one, two, three. And we should have one, two, and then we should have a three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, like that. Okay. And then this is all going to be just filled up. So it's going to be a little raised deck. And it's mainly just to give this this, this deck down here. Um, so space so you can actually walk into it. That's why I've had to raise it up. Uh, it's just the way that the design worked out. And it, it makes it a little bit different as well. So there we go. So obviously, guys, just fill up all of this bit. Uh, what we're then going to do is we're going to just get on to finishing up this back banner bit. And then we've just got this superstructure, main superstructure type piece here. Uh, so we're not doing too badly at all. Uh, we're getting through it pretty quickly. So, yep, just fill up this. Um, you know, do the same on the other side for that, that bit. And we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, now for the back part. It's really nice and easy. Uh, it's pretty much just set, uh, following the same pattern that we got here. So we've got a block here. We're just going to place a block there. And right here, we're going to place a block there. And I can join this with slabs, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two on there. So you can see what, what I mean by it. it's exactly the same, it's just following this pattern. Uh, if we do it just on this side here, we've got the block there, place your block, put on your slabs, like that. And then right here as well, we're going to have a block, and then you can place your slabs just onto it, um, or just like that, really. And now what we're going to do is going to go one, and then we're going to go one, two, three. So like that, so we get four slabs in total. Ooh. I can place them and not drop off. One, two, three, four, like that. Obviously, it's going around like a little corner. Then we're going to have four blocks of quartz. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to have three slabs. One, two, three, like that. And that's literally where we get this kind of like beam part of it that goes goes on those uh, across those pieces. Uh, but that just finishes up that bit. So obviously, guys, just do it on the other side as well. Um, and yeah, then we'll get on to starting to work on this superstructure piece. Okay, and now for the main kind of structure on this one. So we're not going to really do it in a layer by layer, but we will. Um, 
I'm just going to be building up. I'm going to probably be having to fly over quite a bit for this because it, it's not as easy as it looks, especially with the joining in bits. But if we come to the back here, we're just going to go one, two, and then go to the third one. Grab your, uh, or grab a birch wood stair. So we go one, two, third one there. Just do this one going across, and then on the end, just corner it. So just go there and there. So you get five in total, but it's wrapped around. Then behind this, we go one, two, three, like that. Now this one, counting that one, you're going to go eight this way. So you've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you move to the outside. I'm going to do 21. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, like that. Then we're going to have two here. And then counting that one, it's going to go across by three. So you go one, two, three. Then you're going to go out and have three as well. One, two, three. So you go one, two, three, two. That one's going to go most of the way back. That, and then one, two, three, four, and over to there. And a couple going across like that. Okay. Now if we just build up this back piece just to uh, an extra height, and just do this, literally just this back piece here, because I can't remember where the glass is exactly. So we can just build that bit up like that. Now if you stairs, we're just going to build up with our stairs, pretty much. So if we just grab into this bit there, put in your stairs just like that. Okay, now I've put in a door there. I, I don't know if you guys want to put in a door there. You probably do. So there we go, put in a door there because it's, it's near these steps here, uh, near this bit. So it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So there we go. But obviously if you guys want to make put your doors in anywhere else, uh, feel free to. Um, now we're just going to have a quick look at this. Got some stairs wrapping around. We've got some stairs wrapping around at the slabs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we are actually going to need quartz stairs, which I don't have on me. So I'm just going to grab those. There we go. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to have one block there and then one there so it wraps around. And obviously the same on the other side as well, so one there and one there. Now right on this piece we're going to have a slab and then we're going to have a wrap around bit and then one there. So there, there and a wrap around bit if you want to do it the other way around. I don't think there's anything on the front. Nope, not with this one. So that's pretty cool. Okay, and I can't remember how many this goes up exactly. It seems to go one, two, three, and four. So we might as well do an extra layer on that. And we can also pull those uh, in as well. So we can pull that one in there. There's probably also going to be one that goes there as well. So we go just like that. So we get the stairs that at least go uh, to this back section. We, at least we can, you know, uh, start to tidy that up. But it is four in total for this piece. Uh, it's just this one here goes out by one. So we just need to remember that. So if we just go on top of these ones, join those together. And it's right here, and we just go out by one like that. And then that will join up into a wall, so we might as well extend that piece. Go to here, extend that bit, and then we just take that one out and put that one there like that. We can actually probably do this a little bit of the back deck as well. So, you know, show that we have we know where the actual deck's going, so it gives us a uh, free box in the interior, which is which is not too bad, you know. Um, obviously more is always better, but but for, for yachts and stuff, you kind of need to keep it small, otherwise you will do a super duper massive yacht, which would be cool, but you know what I mean. Okay, so now we're just going to go with our black stained glass. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 7, 1, 10, basically. All right. So right across here, we're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Got a 1 on top of there. There we got a 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And with your white, just put that until you get to the back. Do the same on the other side. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Like that there. And you can see why I have to keep on flying over here because it's just complicated. But we've got 7, 7, 1, or oh, 7, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 7, 2, 4. That's not too bad at all. So if we just move back by 1. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then right here we're going to have a 2, so 1, 2. And then a 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we get 4, 4 blocks there as well. We have 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a bit of a weird way of doing it, but... It depends on how good your clicking finger is. There we go, so we bring that to there. And now what we've got, this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated as it starts to get pushed out a bit. Okay, but we got five, five, two, one, two. So we can at least do that, and it's all kind of joined up. So if we grab our slabs, 
And that is... That's on top as well, isn't it? Yeah, so that's on top. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then go 2, 1, 2, 1, and a 2. I think that was right, or is that wrong? Nope, that's completely wrong. Sorry, guys. I messed up here. There we go. So 2 going across there. And 1 that's overhanging, I'm guessing. So I'm getting confused. Yep, so 1 that's overhanging. Then we get a 2. Like that, that's fine. So 5, 2, 1, and then... This one will also overhang and be a two. Okay, one, two, like that. So two, one, and a two, like two, like that. And we're just going to join these together. Go straight across this front part and just join these ones. Okay, so we add an extra block in there and there. So it squiggles around, basically. Okay, and then we've got so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, one, one, and then this piece goes all the way back until it's just outside of it. So there we go, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one, and then this piece literally just goes back. That's really, really easy. Just doesn't look like it. And then it goes right to there. So it's just gonna be one block out uh, on the outside part of it. There we go. I did the same mistake on both of those bits. Never mind, there we go. So it brings it right to the edge. One, one, like that. And there's a little bit extra on here. We've got an extra two blocks just on the side of that piece. So I'll just add those in. So right here, one, two, one, two, like that. Uh, so that's what we get. And on the front we got three, three, and then one, and then a block. Uh, one slab and then a block. So three, three, one, a slab and a block. There we go. So one, two, three, just on that inside piece here. One, two, three. Then again on this piece, one, two, three. And here, one, two, three. And then we got a slab, I think it was. Yeah, it was a slab and a block, wasn't it? Yeah, slab, then a block. There we go. Slab and then a block like that. So that gives that front piece. Now I think we can actually most likely um pretty much just fill up this deck. So that might be a little bit easier to do. So there we go. We just do this. Fill up all of this. I usually leave these pieces because if you don't really, really need it, and you can cut it out out more uh, you know, later on. Uh, you'd have to do it obviously all now, but um, if you don't need them, then you can use it for, for places to put like glowstone and stuff like that. So, especially with boats, you have to kind of maximise the space that you've got. Same with planes, uh, maximise maximise all the space that you've got to to make sure you're using everything. And it's all efficient and it's all clean and and nice and all that kind of stuff. And it just looks good in general. It's all done. There we go. And fill up all this piece. There, uh, keep on going. That. Yeah, okay, so we're nearly done. On at least this bit. Like that there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have yeah, let's just count this. Get twelve and then a block. Two, one, two, three, four, five, and a block. We need some iron bars as well. Might as well grab our iron bars. Let's just, just wrap around those bits. So I think I'll remember that. So with your slabs right on the back of this, 12. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. We have a block, and we're going to have five slabs now, but just following this line. So you go 1, 2, 3, oh, three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then a block. Then iron bars wrapping around this piece here at the back. Do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Block, one, two, three, four, five, block, and then just bring the iron bars around. Just like that. So there we go, that gets us the next bit. So what we need to do now is if we grab these ones, and I think it's one, two, three, four, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's kind of like eight on those. I'm just trying to remember how it's all going. So we had these slabs here, we're just going to go one, two, then we go one, Two, and we're just going up in, in sets of two, and there's going to be eight sets of two. We have three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth one is just going to be the top slab. Two, three, like that. So we're going to do. We're going to then going to have a four block gap. One, two, three, and four. And here, one, two. I'm just going to make sure that that is a four block gap. Yep, it is a four block gap. Just don't want to build it and then, you know, not make a mistake. So go one, two, two. Three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight like that. So it's sticking out. Now we'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, like that. There we go. Okay. So what we can probably do is start working on this. We've just got an extra block to put it in on those sides. I'm sure that will confuse me. Or might not. Might actually, no, we can just count it anyway. There you go. If we just count that from there, 14, that'll do fine. Okay. So that was... Yeah, so it's got one block gap here. So I've got one block gap here. So counting that one, did I say? So I've already forgotten. Not counting that one, I don't think. No, it's not counting that one. I'm confused myself now. So, just from behind here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And just to make sure you guys know where that is, it's not counting this front block. As I was getting confused by, by well, I'll confuse myself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Like that. And on the back bit, how many solid have we got? Or we've also got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's three high. This goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, which is three high, so there we go. So from this back piece we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and eight. Build that up again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this piece just goes across the back. And that could be built up three high as well. And I think I put in a door right here and right here. Uh that seems like something I'd do. That's good. And we also need yeah, black stained glass, so let's have a look at this. Got three, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, two, five. That's just gonna be one block back. So there we go, right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Actually it's three, two, five, isn't it? Sorry guys. Three, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. That's it. Confusing myself again. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Let's have a look at what else is there. So we've got three, two, and that's connecting on with a three, so there we go. So back, about one block, one, two, three, then we've got two going across, one, two, and then counting that one that we got right here, we got this to identify it, that's, we're just going to add an extra two blocks onto it, like that. And then behind that is just going to be, or as you know, in front of that, it's going to be two quartz blocks. There we go, and we've got one, two, add an extra two on the back of that. It's got two blocks just like that bit. There we go. And we've got three, and that just goes on top. That sticks over by one, as far as I remember. Yeah, it does. I've also got slabs, or not slabs on there. I've just got a slab on the back. So I just need to remember how to do that. So it's three, one. So your slabs. Uh, that's your core slabs. You're going to go one, two, three, one. And then this piece here, it's just going to be one in. It's not going to be on that outside piece. And it's going to stick over by one. There we go. Nice and easy, that is. Right, we'll just fill in this entire roof. And get onto the more minor details. So there we go, one to there. And all of these pieces, let's fill that up. Ah, keep going. Like that. And to there, and to there. Yeah, right on the back. An extra one there, and an extra one there, like that. And then all we really need to do, guys, is just these little sensory pieces. So I'm just going to have a quick look at these. Actually, I've cleared down the inventory. Going to need your court stairs, court slab, probably court block as well. And I always put them in this order, slab, stair, block. Uh, we're also going to need cobblestone wall and never brick fence. So go one, two, three. And then we've got that one there. So one, two, three. Let's see if we can do this in one go. Might not be able to, it might be that I have to pause it in and do all that kind of stuff. We go one and then upside down stair, two and another upside down stair, and then three and upside down stair. So if we do the same on the other side, so we go one, we get upside down stair on it, two, upside down stair, three, upside down stair. And I'm pretty sure that is just joined across with slabs. Yep, that's just going across with slabs. 
three slabs on the front and five on the back. So there we go. I'm just going to join this. One, two, three, four, five. Three in the front, so one, two, three. And then five on the back. One, two, three, four, five. So it's quite an interesting base for it. It's a little bit different. And then we go one, two, and three. And that should be pretty easy, I think. Yep. So there we go. So we stairs. One. Upside down. Two. Actually, I don't think there's an upside down on that one. Sorry, guys. Not an upside down on that one. A block. And then we're going to have an upside down on this one. And that goes up. And then another upside down. And right here, we're going to have a normal stair in just to make that, that bit look quite interesting. And then right on this piece, we're going to have two slabs going out. One, two. Just like that. Now we need to figure out where these are going. So, cobstone, or never break fence right there and there. And then we've got, let's have a look. Right, cool. We've got a cobblestone wall on this piece, cobblestone wall on this piece. Then we've got a never break fence there, never break fence there, never break fence there, never break fence, fence there. Piece of cobblestone there, and then two go in right up like that. So that's your back uh, sensor. It looks pretty cool, I think. And you could also, you know, put on more and, and stuff like that, but I don't think you really need to. I think, you know, keep it keep it relatively simple. Now from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six, one, two, three, four, five, six, because we've got the stairs. Wrap around stairs on that bit, and then what have we got here? Another stair. I've just made it ridiculously complicated for this piece, but it looks good. So, yeah, I'll we'll do that. We'll try it. Let's try it. Okay. So we're just going to count back from the front piece. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There's the seventh, and we're just going to cut out these three like that. It's like make a little U shape going towards the back. We're going to just wrap stairs around like that. And switch this one out for a block. We've also got another block here, and a block here, and a block here. So we've got three blocks on the back, and a stair right on the side like this. Pretty sure that's right. I might need to double check that piece though. Yes, that's wrapped around to there. Then we've got a stair, block stair, and then we've got just a stair on there. One, two, three with the stairs. Uh, we've also got the back piece just wrapping around. So maybe, may, mainly just getting this piece here sorted. So if we do that, uh, looks kind of alright. Yeah, so we get a stair there, stair there, we'll also get a stair there, and a block. Now we're going to do the same around the back here, so we're just going to do the U shape. And put a block there, and use that as our base to there. And then we get a stair on that piece there, I believe. Yep, we do. Stair right in there, and then we're just going to go. So we build that up there, so we go one, two. We've just got a couple pieces sticking out as well. Okay. Nice and easy, really. Let's go one, upside down, two, upside down like that. And on the top piece, we're having those sticking out. And the, the next piece down, we're going to have a couple others. So there we go. Extra piece here, extra piece here. Down on this one here, we're going to go one, two, two, and one, two. And then for all of these little pieces here, um, that's pretty easy, actually. Yep. So we've just got on top of these ones, we've got a cobblestone wall. Never brick fence, cobblestone wall, never brick fence. Then, of course, else if I remember, uh, we've got a never brick fence on each of the sides here. Then we've got a cobblestone wall like that. Then we're going to go never brick fence, never brick fence, never brick fence, and just make like a little cross type thing like that. There we go. That gives us the ship. Um, so there we go. That was a really long section. As you guys can see, that's just the easiest way I've found to to get that part of the tutorial done quickly. Um, but yep, I haven't got an interior for this one yet, guys, but I'm sure at some point I will, and when I do, there will be a video, and it will be linked. It will say, like, you know, um, Large Yacht Amelia, I think this one's called, um, you know, Interior Walkthrough or something like that, or Interior Ideas. I'll, I'll, I'll try to show you guys all of those, but, I mean, you've got a lot of room to play with, so, you know, you know, just have a wa wander around and see what you guys can actually come up with for this ship. But, uh, yeah, guys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, do credit me for my design if you guys do use it on a map or server or something like that, but it really helps me out. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, I'll see you guys on the next one.